Call me crazy. Do we already have these? What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 18 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 12 new and two updates. For console only, we got one new and one update. And for PC and Mac, we've got one new and one update as well. Let's check them out. First up today, let's go into the Sammy Lamborghini Harleyman Pack 150 190 HP. This is a successful medium large model of the SLH group, the current SDF from the early 90s. Yeah, we already had this. It's they're cheaper to be fair. They're a whole lot cheaper. The thing I don't understand, call me crazy. So we got 190 horsepower max there and in here 189 horsepower interesting interesting they seem the same to me regardless let's go ahead and take a look at them in here in the Harleyman master we have rim color you've got a couple different grays you've got silver Ooh, silver looks good cream white and light yellow Oosh. let's just go back to standard again model selection we have the 90 95 95 98 and then back to that so you've got two different versions there wheel brands we have michelin trelleborg Midas, Nokian, back to Michelin. In Michelin, we have original tires. We have wides, wides with weights, oversize. Ooh, oversize, let's go. We also have rear twins on there as well. And back to the original Trelleborg. We have alternative base wheels. We've got wheel weights. Man, that looks good. You've also got narrow tires. You got narrow rears, which is super cool. And then back to standard. In Midas, we have a standard tire. I have a wheel weight and standard as well. And then Nokia and just a standard tire. So you could already sell, or you already tell, there's a lot more customization to this pack than the previous pack. So let's uh, let's take this over to Trelleborg and let's put those on it because I think that looks the best. Fenders here, we've got a standard fender. We've also got rear mud guards. So it's going to stick a uh, little extension on there for you. You've also got without fender. So it takes all the fenders away and then back to standard again. Beacons, we've got a standard beacon. You've got both or just standard standard is one you can't make them go away and then bonnet hips you've got well with and without the the hood so if you really want to get these bad boys out and get racing with your friends maybe over on uh, sussex and uh get it get on the racetrack and race a couple of these you can do that and make it look awesome i'm gonna leave that there air conditioning we have standard or without air conditioning so you've got the air conditioner unit in the back or without it you could do either one there hydraulic connections we have standard we have 800 kilogram front weight 600 or uh 880 sorry 160 240 320 400 480 and a front attachment you've also got a foldable one and a standard one as well which is really really cool and then you could do front loader oh yeah you can do a forestry setup too start pushing stuff around let's go man that looks good i love that and then engine of course here we have the 6165 you're going to get 165 horsepower or you do the 6190 which gives you 189 horsepower back and forth now are they the same going back and forth between all of these yep looking like it here you've got pretty much the exact same uh setup on every single one of these tractors so even down to the rim color so whether you like the hurleyman whether you like the lamborghini or whether you like the sammy either way you've got what you want to use go have some fun with these these are really cool these tractors do have some interesting things that i don't think i've ever seen before so you can see in here we've got multiple different control groups these are just the standard like as it comes tractors check this out you can move your seat back and forth <laughs> that's so cool man boop boop so uh yeah i'm not sure why you would want to use that or if you need to but you can easily i mean like this it can't even hold on to anything look at that <laughs> not only that we can change that dri driving direction around and do the same thing <laughs> this poor guy man it's just that's way too close right there way too close now I mentioned that we have multiple control groups here. If we go into the second control group, we've got controllable mirrors. You can see right there, that mirror's moving back and forth. And then you could change it up and down. How's about that? That's pretty cool. Not only that, we can bring it in or out. And then naturally, you probably guessed the exact same thing in control group three. You could control your windows up and down, side to side to and fro 
really really cool stuff there we also have a fourth so this is the front blade control unfortunately i don't have it installed on this one so that would control the front blade and then back to control group one which will change up our driving and all that good stuff we get a little seasick boom all right there you go here's a mod that since it went into testing everybody's been freaking out about it, at least most of us here in the american community we've got the case 821 g baby let's go and it comes with a shovel as well that's so cool now what makes this different what makes this unique your main color your rim color and your design color there's so many of them <laughs> so you can see we got a couple different uh, yellows we've got some blacks blue orange green white i mean you've got all kinds of stuff through here and one of the coolest things is if you want you can turn this into a case if you really want to mm, maybe not there there yeah, closer i think silver is still gonna have to be the best one there and then design color. This is the only one that I'm not 100%. Oh, wow. That changes the entire. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to put that back to standard. That looked terrible. <laughs> Wheel brands. We've got Michelin now. See, those are the XHA2s. We also have the XLDD2 and the XLDD. We have those. And then uh, Xmine D2, XHO2. So we've got quite a few different Michelin tires here really cool to see that i like that man that's super neat and then uh see mud guards here we have a full mud guard we have a full okay so that adds beacons to the top we also have a smaller mud guard with beacons and then full so you have basically have two different versions you have mud guards um or no mud guards on the very back with or without beacons cool and then company colors this is actually really cool through here. Um, I need to change this up. <laughs> actually, I'm on the computer. Bump over here. Let's go and let's just take all of these colors to black so that you could see this because this is going to be sweet. So company colors, it takes the case logo away and it adds like a yellow stripe, yellow wheels, green wheels, blue wheels. You've got a double stripe there with the same, uh, same color wheels a blue stripe down through there green uh red and <laughs> got all kinds of cool stuff man look at all of the different setups and then finally back over here to standard again my goodness there's so much customization to this also goes 27 miles per hour yeah this is a fast boy right here not only that we've got a bucket that comes with it it's a very small bucket, but it'll get the job done nonetheless. It's the 3,600 liters. Here you have the exact same colors that you've got for your main things. You can change this, whatever you like. Boom, just like that. And then design, you have the uh, normal one, and then you have a uh, one that's got our teeth in the front. Now, this is lame and dent. Um, I don't know if those are the proper terms here in the States, but nonetheless, very cool there. I love it. I love it. I love it. This looks like it's got something. Let's pull in here. And where's our help window? I thought it had tension belts. Yo, dude. So now you can pick up all kinds of stuff. <laughs> that makes it even, even better. That is awesome. What's this bad boy sound like right here? Let's take a listen. Your next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Forestry Disc Mulcher. With this, this is the latest development from Lizard, of course it is, due to its robust and at the same time small design. Uh, this disc with 30 teeth is particularly well suited for cutting free and creating paths. So you can uh, cut trees with this, create paths suitable for cleaning areas. Very, very cool. Um, this is used with a skid steer. So do keep that in mind. You're going to need a skid steer for this and you can change up the color. We do have a uh, standard gray, which is a custom color, but you can set this to literally any color in the game. It does say that this is in forestry equipment, but it is not. It is in skid steer loaders. Fans of Stara will enjoy this one. This is the Star Absolute of 44 Row by Connect Modding. This guy right here is going to cost you $215,000. Has a uh, seed capacity of 3,800 liters, only seed, 
no fertilizer on this 330 horsepower required it is a regular hitch not a three-point hitch 20.7 meters making it one of the largest planters in game as a matter of fact was that 20 20.7 20 meters let's double check out a few things ignore those john Deere's. those are pc only um let's see 18 meters there 18 meters there those are custom so it's not going to do anything these are all 12 and 8 yep so i believe that makes this stara the largest planter in the game oh man yeah it is um it says with this you can create so fields um it does not look like it is a direct drill. Doesn't say anything about being a direct drill. We will go ahead and lease one to take a look at that. Uh, otherwise, this will do corn, sunflower, soybeans. It will do your sugar beets, cotton, wheat, barley, oats, canola, cover crop, and grass as well. So you've got quite a bit that'll happen here. Let's see how much horsepower we need. 330. Let's grab ourselves a big tractor. Got it. The ST Max 105. This will be perfect for this. If you thought for a second I was going to do that, you're crazy. <laughs> not going to work. Here we go. We'll use the Valtra. I believe this is the S series. Yeah. Let's get this unfolded. Wow. Um, it just dropped and dug into the ground. I can't move. Whoa. Um, interesting. Okay. Now I can move. That was odd. Never had that happen before. Kind of looks conjunct right there too, doesn't it? There we go. All right. Yeah, I don't know what the world just happened there. Hey, <laughs> it's working now, though. This thing is, I think massive's the word for it. There is just, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's put some seed in here and let's see exactly what happens. There we go. We got some seed. Um, let's see what's in there right now. Yeah, that'll work. Go through, turn it on, hit the gas. And let's see if this will direct drill. Is this going to take anything out? Yes. Okay. So it doesn't say that it's a direct drill, but it is direct drilling. So that is awesome to see. Now, what happens if we fast farm with this? Can we? I believe. Yes. What, is our, what does it say? Six miles per hour? Yeah, six miles per hour. Max speed. However, it will fast farm. So you could fast farm with that. If you guys don't know how to do that, search DJ Goham fast farm. It'll teach you how to do that. So this works. This works just fine. Fast farm with it. This this is going to be very, very popular. I know it's Stara, so it gets a little bit of junk, but this, uh, I think this just got real, real popular. Is there anything different with it? Nope. It's just normal. I like it. This is cool. Next new mods for all platforms. We have the Lizard TLF 5500 and the 7500. Now these are going to hold 5500 liters of fertilizer and 7,500 liters of fertilizer respectively. If we go over, they will do lime and fertilizer both, and you can even increase the capacity. So 55, 68, back down to 55 again. Not too bad. What's the uh, spread on this bad boy right here? Does not say what the spread is. So let's see, what does it say online? Let's see, online it says if you've got, what is that? If you've got lime, it is eight meters. And if you have fertilizer, it is 12 meters. Okay, so you can go all the way up to 8,800 liters on that. Nice, these are very cheap. Uses a normal hitch, uses a PTO. So things that you would be very, very accustomed to seeing right there. Um, let's see, you've got an 85 horsepower and a 100 horsepower respectively I apologize these are not listed on here so i'm having to find everything online on these um yeah eight meters with lime 12 meters with fertilizer um max working speed of twin or 12.4 miles per hour so i think that's the first notch of 12 if you're curious we've got a new farm silo for you brand new for all platforms day this is by richif and they do a lot of really cool stuff this is a small farm silo with the possibility to store additional feed so grass hay straw pig food silage and tmr as well silo price is going to be fifty thousand dollars capacity is thirty thousand liters daily maintenance of 45 dollars per day and if we go into the save menu we can do all the standard crops we could do root crops as well so potatoes and sugar beets you can do those as well plus let's see tmr silage grass hay straw nice also says pig food as well that's really cool 
Nice. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look. The back looks good. The front looks good. This is, the, I think, the easysheds.com. Double check that right here. Yep. There you go. Easysheds.com. This will match anything that you've got. So if you've got some other stuff on your farm as well that you like, boom, you can now make it match. Next new mod for all platforms is going to be the old fence with gate. This is a nice old fence with gate. Consists of different parts that can be put together. Fence with its own charm. Very well into a rural area or something like that. English does not work today. So the fence, you've, uh, fence field, you've got 30 euros. Fence field large is going to cost you 70. Connection small is going to be 25. Connection medium, 45. And then your large, 65. And then a fence gate is going to cost you 200 bucks. Next is the Polish barn. <laughs> got a lot of Polish stuff now. <laughs> this is for machinery and things like that. There's two different ones. One's got uh, decorations outside. The other one does not. It's going to be in sheds. Price is going to be $50,000. If that wasn't enough, we've got a garage for you. This is a small Polish garage for storing machinery. Daily upkeep is 25 bucks per day. Price is $25,000 per day. Per day? No, no, just 25,000 one time. <laughs> Next, we have a crazy pack for you. This is the Lizard Pallet Pack, and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It says, before you do anything, please know that bulk size pallets base is visual only. Lift from the bottom of the pallet. So we're talking about these guys right here. Looks like two. Lift from the bottom. You can buy these in single bags. So seed, lime, fertilizer, manure, chicken food, cow food, horse food, pig food, sheep food, seed pack, lime pack. Okay, we're, we're back to the beginning again. Then you've got pallets. You got wrap, no wrap, clear wrap, bulk wrap, seed wrap, seed wrap, bulk, no wrap, double pallets if you want. <laughs> You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Check that out. That's neat. That's available in seeds, lime, sol or, uh, fertilizer, solid fertilizer, manure. As I say cow manure, it's just manure. Liquid tanks as well. So you've got these right here. Um, let's see. Diesel brands. Case. Really? Does I say case on there somewhere? Challenger. Really? I don't, I don't see... I don't see anything changing on the design. Let's go through and see if we can find anything. Oh, oh, man. There we go. All right. So you got to do, you got to do, do the tank thing right there. That's, that's cool. That's pretty neat. Um, you also have chicken food, cow food, pig food, horse food, cheap food, uh, bales. So you got square bales. These 6,000 liters. Keep in mind, again, this is just visual, that kind of thing. No wrap, clear wrap. And double up if you want for 12,000 liters of it. Um, this is square bale pallets grass bulk okay so we've got hay as well straw silage and then back to grass so grass hay straw and silage very cool um and i think that's it that's insane that's a crazy pack i love it next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the wooden fence this is a wooden fence to decorate farm daily upkeep is 15 bucks per day price is 80 dollars wooden fence post as well you can do ten dollars per day fifty dollars one time purchase man that's expensive and your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be small gate this is going to cost 400 bucks it's going to cost you two bucks per day that sounds about right and it's a small gate that's exactly what it is it's cool though i like the i like the look of this more of like a sheet metal that kind of thing much better than wood. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First, we have the Joyce Far Series 9, and this is hot. Changelog 1.0.5. Well, that's 1.0.5. Yeah, 1.0.5. Sorry, best looking tractor in the game right here. I've said it since the day it came out. Mod description version's been changed to 51. Nokia entire brand added as shown, and new color options have been added. Oh, <laughs> as shown, baby. What you think about that? That is the best in the world. Let's Go! Urgh. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Case IH 1030 pack. We actually talked about this in Farm Sim News earlier today, and I thought it was about the combine. It's not at all about the combine, it's about the header, because this is update 1.1. 1 .1. Change the log, added smoke, added, ch or uh, changed the price rather, added foliage bending, and added a new icon and store. So, and we got all kinds of cool stuff in here. I feel like we got some new options as well. We did not have these larger versions to begin with now we had the 18 foot but i believe this is brand new as well the 1030 20 foot 
I believe this is branded as a 6.1 meter, making it a very, very sizable header for your John, or for John Deere, sorry, <laughs> for your Case IH 1660 Combine. Love that thing. Making our way over to new mods for console only players today. First, we have the Pottinger Toro Combi Line Pack. This came with a couple different ones. As a matter of fact, we reviewed this yesterday. It came out for PC yesterday. Today, it is out now for console players. So if you guys want it, go check it out. It was really cool. Adds three new Pottinger loading wagons, and they got some really neat customization as well. Making our way into updates for console only today. We got one as well. DD Mod Passion bringing the heat with tool line control for harvesters. Change log 1.1 added new cutters. Well, which ones did we get? So we've got it, I think. In addition to all of the headers, now you see the bottom left-hand corner, it's just saying headers are attached to harvesters. Yep, we know that. Now you can see tool height control for harvester. That's what you want to look for. These are modded headers. So look for these. You've got the ones that are in game. We've had these for a while. Nothing standard there. However, we did not have corn headers and now we do. So it starts with the Capeo. We've got the Quasar F4. You also have your corn champion 5R. Yep, 5R. 608C from John Deere. The Capeo, this is your six meter. You also get your nine meter John Deere. You get a nine meter Capeo. You've got a nine meter New Holland, the 12 meter Quasar. You've got your nine point, well, yeah, the 9.1. Uh, oh, nope, nope. That's uh, moving on a little bit too far. So none of these, these are all just standard mods, but everything in game now. Now my question is, can we go mega fast? because I want to go mega fast. So we're going to get ourselves one of those. If we keep going into forage headers, we had one of these beforehand. I believe it was, uh, it's in here somewhere, but we now have one for doing poplars. You've got a couple for picking things up, mowing. It's insane. It's super crazy. We're actually going to get ourselves one of these because I wonder if we can mow super mega fast You've also got the stuff from the Kemper pack. Yeah, tool height control. We got your new Holland in there, Crone. Um, it's it's awesome. It's really, really cool, guys. Yo, I kind of want to know, does this work as well? I just need to know. I'm not done. Potatoes, baby, let's go in here. You can see where we've got, well, we've got one. You got your Grammy right here, which is going to match perfectly with your SC260. This is a header topper, so uh, tool height control for harvesters there. Awesome work on that. And we're not done yet, guys. Beats. Tool height control for beats. You got your normal header, but also for the harvesters themselves. And I think you're like me, DJ. Can I harvest fast with that? Well, I sure hope so. Now, I will tell you this. I didn't see anything else in any of the others, so... I think that's what we've got right there. Let's take a look and see what do we need. We need a combine, which I already have one of over there. We need a couple forge harvesters and we need sugar bead harvester. So let's start with our standard harvester right here. This is going to be like a 30, 45 minute mod video. I don't care. Uh, please start. There we go. So let's hook up here and let's see, does our corn header allow us to fast farm possibly but only one way to find out and that's to kind of get up some speed get up some time go ahead and knock these signs down right here we don't want none of that turn it on drop it down and yes it is working and we would be able to harvest at uh well as fast as as we could physically go i think would be the thing now do we own the cornfield right there. We do not. Let's go ahead and buy that real quick. I think we might be able to get this. So let's turn off the combine. Let's raise our header up if we can actually get it to raise. That's dropped. There we go. That's raised up. Let's get this thing over here. Actually, is the corn even ready to be harvested? Probably should have checked that. Come on, pick it up. Very unlikely. Nope, not even right. But nonetheless, if you speed it up, turn it on, drop it down, you can see we're going way faster than standard. That's pretty cool. Now, let's get ourselves a forge harvester. We're just going to get, let's see, we'll just get the 1180 because this is the most powerful one that we've got in game, at least non modded versions. We'll back this bad boy up. We will hook up to this. So, this is going to be the mowing 
version. So let's go ahead and unfold that. Let's hook this up, turn it on, drop the header down, cruise control, and we are fast farming. Yes, that's so cool. All right. So we know that the normal headers work, which is shown before. We know the corn headers work. We now know that a forage header mowing will work. We know that the forage header doing corn works as well. Will this work? This is what I'm interested in. Can you do? Yep. You could do poplars at 25, 26 miles an hour. That is just the best thing ever. DD Mod Passion coming through, man. Coming through. Now, the one thing that I know a lot of you guys want, this bad boy. Let's hook up to the homer here. There we go, good. Now remember, if you hire a worker, these will not go super mega fast. They will only go uh, normal top speed, six miles an hour, something like this. However, if you wanna get it done yourself, you could go as fast as you want. Let's hook up, please, thank you. All right, there we go. Turn it on, drop the front header down. I know we don't have access, I don't care. And you can see, turned on and everything. <laughs> Minus the fact that I'm jumping around. As fast as this combine will go, or this harvester, we can go. Dude. That's... It's it's the best thing. Ooh, and I'm stopped. Well, <laughs> it works nonetheless. Oh, man. Guys, farming simulator just got a little bit more fun. Moving into our last section. Mods for PC and Mac players today. The first one, brand new, is going to be Cantabria Infinite. Now... We're getting pictures because unfortunately this is a global company needed map. And you guys know how I feel about global company. This is a multi-fruit and factory map based in Arganos area in Cantabria. Various starting available with custom terrain and vehicles, agriculture, livestock, forestry, and entrepreneur. Yeah, BGA animals, compost, carrot, onion, hops, bamboo, millet, umbrella collector. Umbrella collector? <laughs> how many umbrellas are people losing? Saltwater, gravel quarry, Global Company, Seasons Compatible, uh, Factory System from Global Company. You've got all that. Uh, sawmill, Biodiesel, Apple Field, Olives Field, Drying, um, as far as things like that. The list really goes on to get a full effect of this. If you guys are on PC and you use Global Company, go check this out because this, this map is absolutely insane. I would be here for hours explaining it. And your last mod today, we've got an update to the Technostros 4T this is going to be changelog 1.1. 900 liter capacity has been added. You also have connection hoses. They have been added and a new store and icon. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the GoHan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.